you back in the US after being away for more than eight months traveling around the world. This was my longest adventure ever. And the last country I was in was Indonesia, where I hosted my first group trip. It was a dream come true. 10 wonderful people joined me to explore the beautiful island of Bali together, where we spent eight days enjoying everything that Bali has to offer. We hiked, snorkeled, visited temples, did a lot of climbing, and it honestly exceeded every expectation I had about about Bali and I couldn't have asked for a better group trip. My next group trip is happening in January of 2024 in Egypt and then right after that February 2024 in Iceland. So if you are interested in joining me on an epic adventure, check the first comment in this video with detailed itineraries. And if you're interested in tagging along, be sure to request your spot as soon as possible and take advantage of a reduced price right now. Indonesia was the last country I was in and for eight months when I was traveling around the world, I couldn't really buy any souvenirs because with 40 liters backpack, it's kind of hard to find space. And so when I was in Indonesia, I decided to do some shopping before I wrap up my adventure and when I was there right before heading to the airport I asked a local lady about a good place to go shopping she suggested the mall and I was like okay thank you but I'm not really interested in going to a mall to shop for souvenirs order the taxi just to go somewhere else but then the taxi driver ended up suggesting the exact same place. But this time he explained to me that it's not a typical mall as we know it with generic international brands, but rather it's a complex with a lot of local handmade souvenirs at very reasonable prices. And so I decided to give it a try. And so today I want to share with you everything that I bought from Bali. I did a similar video about things I bought from Morocco in the past and a lot of you guys enjoyed it so I hope that you enjoy this one as well. This is the name of the mall. If you are in Bali, I highly recommend going there. Even if you're not interested in shopping, just go in there for the experience. It was fantastic. Plus, there were not any Western travelers there. It felt as if it was mostly for people coming to Bali from other parts of Indonesia, if not other surrounding countries. They have so many things, clothing articles, snacks, beauty products, it was fantastic. And I was so overwhelmed because I am not a big fan of shopping in general. So my strategy when I was there was to just follow what everyone else is doing. And it worked, it worked very well. This is a shirt that we got for Alex. It just looked like a nice shirt for mid-season here in the Bay Area. It's not really cold right now, not really warm. It felt really nice, it fit very well. They do have a lot of articles of clothing for men, women, and kids, especially if you are interested in buying real traditional Indonesian clothes. Usually in Bali, if you want to enter a temple, you have to be covered by wearing a sarong, so you can find those there. You can find the head wraps and the head that Indonesian men usually wear in important occasions, and then the tops that women would wear alongside with the sarongs for ceremonies. Beautiful colors, beautiful options, and mostly the prices are really good. Okay, so Okay, this is interesting because at first I had no interest in buying pies, but then I noticed that everyone there was grabbing big numbers of these pies. So I saw this family, they grabbed like not one, not two, but like 10, dozens of them. And so I was like, they must be really good. So these are called pie susu. And this seemed like they had so many brands actually available at the mall, but this is the one brand that everyone was crazy about. And when I looked at it first, I thought it looks kind of close to pastel de nata in Portugal, but when I tasted it, it didn't taste like that. So it's all right for my liking personally. I think it would go nice with morning coffee or morning tea. I ended up grabbing two, gifted one already, and I'm still left with one. And let me know, by the way, because I don't know if this is particular to Indonesia or it's pretty common around Asia because 
there were certainly a lot of other um, agents visiting and they were just crazy about it. So, um, yeah, so this is one. And then because they have other brands, I'm like, wow, this, this must be really good. I'm going to get an, I'm going to get more. I'm gonna, I was just going crazy. I was getting influenced by everyone else. So I was like, well, I'm going to buy more. So I bought more. I buy Susu, other brand. Haven't tried this one yet, but uh, we'll see. I also grabbed some chocolates. I love the packaging. I think the black and gold and red is just fantastic. And it's a great representation of Asia in my mind. And by the way, Indonesia is the first country I visit in proper Asia. So I was fascinated all the time. And I just felt like this country opened my eyes to really wanting to explore other parts of Asia. I don't know what country I will be seeing next in Asia. I, I really don't, I, I don't know, but I'm really excited to travel in that part of the world again. But this is a set with the chocolate bars. One, two, three, four, five of them. Goodness of the archipelago. So we bought this one as a gift for our neighbors. I'm super excited for that. I think they will like it. And the snacks, got some mangoes. I tried to pick things that are uh, local or ingredients that I would see around the island. So mangoes were pretty common. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna try some dried mangoes. This is, I, I grabbed this one for Alex because he likes dried mangoes. Uh, this one is more on the spicy side. I'm honestly not a big fan of spicy food in general, but they're coated in sugar. So I have a feeling it will be more bearable. So uh, dried mangoes. And then uh, snake skin fruit chips. I just grabbed them because like, I was very curious and I just tried them a little bit ago when I filmed the first take but my camera wasn't working when I thought it was recording and this it tastes really good it has a citrusy taste to it not really sweet not salty at all because I feel like oh, maybe it's salty but th this was really good I think this is a favorite for me so far and I got some peanuts I tried something similar to this when I was still in Bali and oh my gosh, it was amazing. It wasn't the exact brand and I can't even tell you what's in there because I don't know how to read the language. Uh, but it felt like, I want to say roasted peanuts, but it felt more like fried peanuts, even though I don't know if it's really a thing. And then it's just mixed with a bunch of spices and herbs. I can see that there's a green leaf right here, if you guys can see it. I don't know what that is. If you know, please let me know in the comments. But I'm hoping that this is going to be a good snack that I can probably take with me on the trail on a hike soon because I haven't hiked in a very long time. These are popular coffee beans in Bali, Luwak. And before you consume these beans, they are actually digested by this cute animal right here. And they are valuable in Indonesia. They're very common. So I decided to give it a try. And oh my gosh, I can smell the beans are very, very strong. This is Arabica Bali coffee. I think I will keep this one for ourselves and we'll give it a try. We'll let you guys know on our Instagram stories. If you're not following us already on Instagram, check Tracking Pals on Instagram. I will be sharing with you updates about how it tastes. Okay, uh, they do have a lot of beauty products too. This set, handmade natural soap, coconut base, two pieces. And you can see the frangipani right here. When you're traveling in Bali, you will see these flowers almost everywhere. And I just love grabbing them, smelling them and putting them on my hair. It's really cute. They have a map of Bali right here. A set of two, 80 gram each and it's jasmine. I'm a big fan of jasmine. So I'm gonna go with jasmine. Uh, more bars, more soap, because why not? This is also frangipani. I thought this one was cute with this little fake flower right here. It's usually white with the yellow in the middle. Like this is, this is how you see it around Bali, but this is, this is cute. So I will be keeping some of these for myself and I will be gifting some to uh, friends and family. Uh, more soap because apparently, apparently we love soap. So this one though is an exfoliating loofah soap, which is more of a bar with the built-in loofah. I've never seen anything like this, but I have to tell you, I'm really excited to try it and see, and see if it's really fun to use. So two of these and on the beauty product side, I picked a body butter because moisturizing is important. And this one is white mask. I always love the smell of white mask and how it feels in your body, usually with perfume. So we'll give this one a try and see if it's any good. And 
messy. More soap. All right. <laughs> this is this is getting pretty funny. Like a lot of soap. Okay, so e, soap, sabun. The sabun is how you say soap in Arabic, which I was surprised to see here. And actually, most of these edible products are labeled as halal because in Tunisia, 90% of the country identifies as Muslims. Uh, but in Bali though, in the island of Bali, it's mostly Hindus. But even around Bali, you will find restaurants and markets that cater to people who eat halal. So a lot of these products are labeled as halal. But I was so surprised to see the soaps labeled as halal. I'm like, um, are we eating soap now? Or what is happening? But anyway, so three bars here, frangipani and jasmine. And I hope this was the last, the last set of soap because otherwise this is becoming embarrassing. Incense, because you cannot go to Bali and not get incense. It's, this package has 100 sticks where I was like, how did you fit 100 of them right here? So we'll have to open it and see. Okay, so this was a surprise to me. Uh, when you're walking around, you will find small containers, square shaped with a bunch of flowers and, crackers and sometimes incense and these are offerings that the hindus would make in the morning maybe throughout the day too but you will find them everywhere in front of almost every store all the houses the temples they are beaches they are literally everywhere and you have to be careful because sometimes they are on the road as you are walking be careful to not step on them because that that's disrespectful i mean don't do it intentionally if it happens by accident it happens but these are offerings that the hindus offer to the gods for blessings and spiritual connection so this will be nice to burn around the house there are a few things here that i actually picked later on from the airport as like last minute purchases um, i don't really remember exactly which ones but uh, this one right here is lemongrass tea i was actually sick when i was in indonesia for a good amount of time the second half of the trip and the climate is very different it was very different for me it's unlike anything that i've experienced before it was very humid more humid than i had imagined and so i think one of the things that got me sick was moving from like really hot temperature when you're outside in the all day and then you go to your hotel room and usually the ac is on blown to the fullest and just going from extreme hot to extreme cold caused some sort of shock to my body and I was not feeling well. So, you know, take it easy, make sure that the room temperature and the outside temperature are kind of the same just for you to adjust at least the first few days. But anyway, when I was sick and I would ask for drinks or tea from hotels or whatever, they would offer me lemongrass tea with the ginger and honey and I really loved it. So when I saw lemongrass tea, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get it because I need a good reminder of the good old days when I was sick in Bali because something that looks like chili sauce but i know it's not chili sauce it's sambal sambal is this spicy mixture or spicy sauce please correct me if i don't understand what this is uh, but this is uh, something that i thought alex would enjoy i don't really know how i'm going to use it to be honest but i'm thinking maybe um serve it with an omelet or maybe some breakfast tacos or if you have other suggestions please let me know because i am the ignorant tourists okay uh buddy butter from fresh mango yummy that sounds good so uh, mango local ingredients i really try to pick a lot of any ingredients that are related to things that i see a lot around the island like coconut or mango lemongrass you know just like local local ingredients uh, i got two sets of these cute buddha statues with the uh, diffusers i don't remember what fragrance this was but probably frangipani again um i got a set for myself and then i got a set as another set as a gift and i thought it would be a nice thing to just like small nice statue that you can put out there to remind you of the beautiful times in bali and finally coconut flakes dried coconuts because when i was in bali every day i would have or not, not when I was with the group, but later on, I would have dragon fruit smoothie balls every day. And they are so good, so delicious. You can feel and taste how fresh every fruit was. And I loved how they add coconut flakes on almost every smoothie bowl. So I thought I'm going to recreate the smoothie balls when I get home and grab myself some coconut. So this is everything that I got from Bali. 
And I just want you to know, every time that I spent at the mall, this mall, this is the name of the mall, I will also share information about the exact location on Google Maps because I want you guys to know whether you are shopping or you're just visiting, I want you to know because just being there, you will really enjoy how the building, the mall looks like and the Indonesian architecture and design and just like, you know, seeing people out there shopping, enjoying an experience in Bali, it was just fantastic. I really loved my time in there. And it cost me about 944,000 Indonesian rupiah, so that's less than 1 million rupiah, which I believe is around like 60 to 65 US dollars, which is a very, very good price if you are, if you wanna buy a lot of uh, gifts and souvenirs for yourself and your loved one, I think this is a good option, good place to check out. This is everything for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.